how to screen record on Mac for free is the topic of today's video and you can go and add your face cam, you can go and add text to the screen and this is a method without QuickTime although I do go over the QuickTime method at the end of the video quickly because I know a lot of people for the quick method of this video but yeah I hope you do find it useful if you're new to the Tutorial Tucker channel please consider subscribing down below and hitting the like button on this video I really do appreciate it this video took me a while to make and it's a good software and I go over the full tutorial so do not click off when I show you the software because I'm actually going and show you the best settings for it as well so I do recommend watching the whole video throughout to find out the best settings as well and yeah let's jump straight into this video so as you can see I'm now on my computer and I'll be now showing you the best way to do it and record your screen so I'm showing you two ways like I just mentioned but essentially the first one I'm showing you is the more advanced option it's really good in my opinion and then at the end of the video we're showing you the more sort of quick option I guess you can skip to the end of the video if you're just interested in that part but in my opinion I do recommend the more advanced option especially if you're trying to add more to your video like face cam and a load of other options just like that um, it will work really really well so all you want to do is come to your chrome I've got my mini minimized here and all you want to do is go to a website called obsproject.com and it's a really well it's just a screen recording site it's free um, it's open source and I really recommend it. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Obviously, you're probably here because you're trying to work out how to do it on your Mac. So, what you want to do is come and click the Mac installer and it's going to take you to this page and automatically start unloading. That's about 100 megabytes, so it isn't too big because I know, especially on my Mac, my SSD, um, my storage fills up so quick. So, wait for it to download and as you can see, it doesn't take long. Obviously, it depends on your internet speed. Um, so, we'll quickly wait for that and uh, while it waits I'll quickly just run over so you, there is a guide here but I'm showing you the main steps you need to do and this is for recording obviously this program does have capabilities for for streaming which is really useful so you can stream to YouTube and other streaming sites and uh, yeah you may find it useful um, but I'll make that in the video um, at some point we'll be making an OBS best streaming settings video but yeah let's kind of open it up as you can see OBS Mac click on there and we're getting a pop-up as you can see just verifying it and uh, yeah, we'll quickly wait for this. As you can see, it just does like the normal Mac sort of checking. And we get this here. So all I'm going to do is drag it in. I think that's what you meant to do. Uh, and then it's gone there. So then you can double click on it. And it's just going to open up. As you can see, copying to applications. I believe you actually have to drag it in as well. So make sure you do that. And now I've opened it up. It's verifying OBS. So just wait. And it also be copying there because that's how you obviously go and open it afterwards as well. So yeah, that was how you do it basically. And then you can double click on it and then... And then it will just be doing this. So I'll quickly run over what I actually did there. All I did was drag OBS into applications. Then I double clicked on OBS um, on the icon there. And then I've got this pop up now. So what you want to do is go and click open. Um, it, sh it's f it should be fully safe. So that's fine. And then it's just going to be jumping up and down here. So you do have to do a bit of another process. As you can see here, um, you've got to allow the um, microphone um, essentially because that is how you go and use it. Um, because obviously it needs to record your mic now I've personally used this before so as you can see um, it does give you like a few options and you just have to go through you know if it want, if you want to allow your microphone your webcam all of that stuff which obviously you're gonna have to if you want to screen record so as you can see I've got a few scenes already set up here but for the purpose of this video it'll be showing you how to break a brand new one so come to the little plus down here and then you can get a name so I'm gonna change this name to something like um, video example just to show you and then we can just press enter and we've now got here so it's currently got no sources um, so I'll go into the source at the end that's sort of the step you do at the last um, because you've got to get your settings correct first so all I do is come to settings and wait for it to um, load it may take a minute to load because I'm recording at the same time so as you can see this general this is these general settings are honestly they're really specific to you personally uh, because it's stuff like you know um projectors and stuff like that but the main output is stuff like you could say keep recording when stream ends automatic record when streaming stuff like that you may find useful but obviously this is more of a screen recording video so streaming is just for entering your youtube stuff um, or twitch or whatever you stream on as you can see so you don't need this now the output is pretty important then we'll come to recording and this is where you need to make sure you've got your i have your type on standard so the recording path is simply where your video files can be saved so mine's in the movie section um you could change that obviously to anywhere if you wanted to be like slash um documents you could do that as well just like so but um i want mine in movies so i'll put that back movies uh, recording format, I personally do recommend MP4 or um, .move. I personally use MP4 just because I use Windows as well, so it links up a bit better um, together. 
Um, so I have one on MP4 just like so. And then here you can have the generate file name without spaces. That doesn't really matter. Um, but if you have um, like FLV, I believe um, some formats like FLV will say down here, as you can see, MP4 is um, unrecoverable. If you use stuff like FLV, it's easier to recover. But personally, I'm happy to record it if something went corrupt. So yeah, and code is 264. And uh, as you can see, actually, sorry, the settings are different. I You don't need to do, um, do the streaming stuff. Um, uh, CBR, this is way too high. I recommend having it around 10 or 5,000. Like I said, it's all to do with testing. So I went on 5,000. So my bad. The streaming one isn't too relevant, I don't think. But I personally just have them the same anyway, because if I'd ever stream, they would be the same anyway. So yeah, these are the main settings here. And then again, this can be on ultra fast. But like I said before, it does sort of depend on your computer. Um, it's all about testing it at the end of the day, I find best. So I run on ultra fast and that works well for me. Obviously, I do recommend to having your streaming set set up as well in here because you still may ever you may use them at some point, right? So yeah, you might as well. Um, so yeah, they're the, the main settings. And then, like I said before, uh, CPU usage is dependent on your CPU and the, you, how fast you want it to work. So the higher, the less CPU. As you see, high equals less CPU. Um, and then audio. So here is you can choose your desktop audio, which doesn't work great. You've got to have like external um, an external software to record your audio as well, which I'll be making an in-depth video on soon. So hopefully that's the reason for you to go and subscribe to the channel. And uh, for the mic, you just simply choose which one. So say I'll be using built-in microphone. Um, I disable that. I don't know why I've got that there. And then the others can just be disabled or depending on obviously if you've got two microphones, something like that, you could select them there. And then the rest of this is, is all sort of personal, sort of hotkeys, the mute, push to mute, push to talk. Um, you may find those useful, uh, but obviously they're your option to go and set up. So then we've got down here, we've got the video. Now, as you can see here, the base canvas is what this bit looks like here. When we put up a source, it'll look, that's what that will look like there. Um, so that's up to you. Uh, and I personally record in 720p because um, that's fine for me when I record on this. Usually, usually I don't um, record on here this often, but obviously you can increase this to however you want. You could do 1080p. And then downscale filter, this is like the filter it'll put on it. So you can have really sharpen, which is 36 samples. I have one down just to reduce the, like, the usage a bit. Um, otherwise it does increase obviously the CPU usage quite a lot. So I just have mine on 16 samples and for FPS, I have it on 30. It's more ideal to have on 60 to be honest with you. Um, but personally, I'd rather just reduce the lag a bit more and keep it on 30. And then I go and click okay. And uh, then we are here. But quickly, we haven't quite finished. I just did that to save. I do recommend clicking OK because it goes and saves it. Um, here we've got the hotkeys. Now hotkeys is really useful and it's just like this, which um, if you don't haven't heard about QuickTime, QuickTime doesn't have like hotkeys and stuff like that. So you can have a, a hotkey for starting to record. So you don't have to go and click start record and end record. So you could say set up for something like P and then you could have it um, for stop recording P and when you press P, it starts it and when you press B, it stops. We can have a different one. Uh, I'm gonna delete that because I personally don't need it, but that is how you go and set a, a keyframe. Um, hotkey, sorry, I don't wanna say keyframe. Hotkey is really useful, like I just said. And then we can come to advanced. Now here, make sure your color format is on RGB, especially if for recording. You do get this little bit down here saying, color formats other than MV12 are mainly recorded for using for recordings, which obviously is what we're doing. So yeah, RGB is a lot better. It just makes the colors a bit better, um, which I do personally like so yeah that's the main thing and then recording this is your file name um, so you can come and change this so this is like year month day hour minute second so yeah this is if you can change your name so you could just have it like um something simple like recording and then when it makes another one it will then so you would do record your first one it'll look recording then it'll look like one and then it'll go to two because obviously the names the the same it has to make a new file name each time Overwrite file exists? No, because obviously I don't want to lose any previous videos. Now, automatically remux to MP4 essentially means um, when you're recording in MKV, it will, rec it will automatically convert to MP4. So that, I guess, could work well, um, but I've, in my opinion, it's unnecessary because I already recorded MP4. So I uh, leave that there. So yeah, there are the settings. And then all you want to do is go and click OK. And these are your settings pretty set up, obviously, depending on computer, because I know Macs do vary. Like, you can have some insane Macs, and you can have some more basic ones like mine. Um, so, yeah, for sources, all you want to do is click plus here, and then you've got all these options here. So, for recording your monitor, I personally just go and do display capture here. So, click on that, and then it's going to have this option here. So, I'm just going to put a monitor and click OK. 
So you can name it to anything you want. And then here is my screen. So if you've got more than one display, you can choose this here. You press on zero and then you have a list. Mine's got zero because I've got one. And then you click OK. And here is our recording. And quickly to add um, other sources like face cam and text, all you're going to do is click the plus here. And then you can go and say, do a video capture. Um, and then to do that, you press video capture. And then it's going to bring up here. Then I could name that face cam, say. And then I haven't got mine plugged in or it's hidden up or something like that, my face cam. Um, and then you can just press here and use FaceTime HD camera. And then you can press OK. And then you could like use your face cam here. So my face would be in this black box. But I'm going to remove that um, by clicking there. And then you can just click on the minus. As you can see, you want to remove face cam, yes. But you can do other stuff like adding text. So you add that, click that plus again. You can go and add audios. Um, you can go and add images. So you could just have an image there. You could add text. So you could have something like press um, OK. You go and type something basic, just like hi um, and other stuff just like that. And then to go and start recording, you just click start recording there. I'm not personally because I'm recording already and by computer probably won't be able to handle that. Um, but you can go and set up the other settings as well. So yeah, they're the main things. Now quickly let's jump into the other alternative way. So another way I recommend recording is by simply using QuickTime, um, which I was using to record that segment there. So to get that, we're going to just click search and then search QuickTime player, press enter, and then it's going to load up down here. So then what we're going to do is right click on it, or oh, sorry, click on it with two fingers. If you've got a mouse, right click, and then you can just click new screen recording. And then it's going to get this here and simply start screen recording. You press the red record button. And then it's going to give you these options here. So I personally are going to press S because I don't want to record. Um, but you just press, I'll quickly run through that. I kind of messed over that quickly. As you see, click to record the school screen or you can drag part of the screen. So you could drag it like that. I'm going to press S because I don't want it. Um, and yeah, that is how you do it. And then it will start recording. And then to stop it, there'll be um, like a button up here. And you can press that and it will stop recording. So that is how the more basic way. But personally, like I said before, with OBS, you can do so much more with it and uh, as I showed you quickly you can add face cam and so many other bits of tech so that's why I personally do prefer OBS over QuickTime but yeah if you found this video useful subscribe down below hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next one peace out